Uh, El Capitano, congratulations. You are the champions. You've led a group of young boys uh, to glory today. Uh, how does it feel? Thank you so much, uh, first of all. Um, I'm over emotional. Um, oh, I'm so emotional as we speak. Um, even there in the changing room and before like the final, I couldn't say a word to the group. And uh, that's how I rec the whole group, in fact. It's not just, uh, it hasn't started now in the, uh, during the play. I think from the beginning, how the coaches tried their best uh, uh, to uh, collect um, not just uh, good players, they needed um, good human beings, you know. And um, you know, from the lower ranks, the, a lot of players are struggling to get opportunities. Not everyone would get these opportunities. So for me, because I decided to start from the uh, from the from the scratch, mm. th that allowed me to understand a lot of situations. So now I'm happy for the club that they got what they wanted. From the beginning, it was the objective when I was called uh, by the coaches. It, it's been the objective that we need to take the team to first, first division. So I'm happy for the club, for the chairman, and the coaches for having worked. So you know, um, they haven't been sleeping trying and you know praying and you know trying all they can do for the for, for this team to gel and have a, 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 a good group of fighters so i think they got the reward at the end of the day uh, captain you've played in the professional ranks uh, you know how it feels to be there at the top uh, and as time goes on you've played for a number of teams cheaper arrows tarts and so on and as time went on you went to that to that to the lower leagues did at any point think that as you went to play in the lower leagues and you were getting older, did you think perhaps one day you'll come back to the professional ranks? Um, it, you know, you know, sometimes a setback is not always. Sometimes a setback is just a trigger to take you up again. So that's what I believed in, and I wasn't at fault. Mm. Hence, I stood firm and believed that you know one day people will still realize i haven't failed at the top flight so i knew even there i had to to keep playing the best i, I could because now there's no time to sleep because now once you go down everyone bites you off you know so i decided to remain disciplined and be as professional as i could and you don't become a professional when everyone is watching no no sometimes you do things that people don't see and in the game, be honest about yourself and how you work, like, you know, in the dark. So it's always been uh, like that. Uh, your role in the club was not just only on the field of play uh, as a midfielder or defensive midfielder, but you, all, you are the captain. Uh, you have the role of leading these young boys, very talented group of boys. Uh, how did you balance the role of having to perform on the field of play while also providing leadership for these kids? Um, I think they made it easy for me. I can't take uh, the credit here, like, you know, in this in interview. I think they made it easy. They wanted to learn so much. And uh, as for me, working hard, they could, uh, I, I could make them relate to that. It's not about age. Even uh, uh, as young as you are, like in 18, 17, if you work hard, and it's, this football uh, game, it's not just about talent. The harder you work, the more rewards. You uh, El Capitano, in South African football and football in general, we know once you go on the side of TT, we think you are on your way out. Uh, we are back in the professional ranks now. Do you still have that drive, that ambition to keep going? <laughs> uh, come on now. You know, this question now, if we can take it back to just after the after the match here, the player of the tournament is 41. Yes. I won't even uh, talk about my age here. The old man, the old man. He's still so going. He, 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 was, he was moving like a 15 year old. Yes. He's 41. Mm. So now, even the guys that, because you know, uh, as players, once this age topic comes to the players' heads, they start to, to doubt and um, give up because we grew up with dreams and in this football some, some players break later you know and sometimes when things don't go their way they tend to you know to feel to pity themselves I'll, because i've never 
my last season in the PSL, I was on top of my game. That I'm, I'm, I'm proud like to, to say it now live here because I was on top of my game. Me going down, it was a different reason, you know, because we, we sing a band yes. and sing a band about Nyam. Sometimes when things don't go well, we, we tend to blame. I had no, no, nobody to blame. I had to, to brush the dust off, like from, you know, and get up and move on. So from, I, I fell and I felt it, you know. And now I want to encourage uh, 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 players to believe in what uh, God has given them. Football talent won't just disappear because of, and now uh, 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 we as players, we tend to listen to a lot on negative things that are coming from the outside. The age, the, you know, the, there's rumors everywhere. There's news and people who interpret things. And there's a lot of things that, you know, people say. And and I'm also a victim of that. There's a lot that has been said about me, but I didn't care. I knew what I have. It's my body and the heart, the big heart that I have. I knew that um, Uppington, it's not a province to, to other, as compared to other provinces. That's how people, you know, uh, uh, put it. And now we came from Uppington to show people that, hey, come on, there's talent. Mm -hmm. The top goal scorer yes. is from Uppington. Mm -hmm. So I had to bring belief like, to all of these young boys, but they made it easy for me. I couldn't ask for, for more. They've outdone, because now, you know, the level they, they were playing in those, those were bushes. We're in the bush. Yes. Now we're out of the jungle. And uh, all the riches of, the, of this earth, the diamonds, the gold, they come from the dust. Yes. Now we've proven. We've, we've brought out gold and, you know, all the riches out of the dirty uh, streets of uh, Uppington. Dusty, I, I meant to say. Yes. Not dirty. Dusty. dusty. Yes. yes. <laughs> El Capitano, El thank you very much for your time. And once again, congratulations. We wish you all the best in the NFT. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.